there's nothing more Canadian than curling. Um, it, it is like a, an identity almost. It's what I, it's what I feel that I'm a curler. It's what I represent, and, you know, because I love and respect the sport. So I started last year by doing the novice program, and uh, really enjoyed it, and immediately got hooked to the sport. And it's something I see myself continuing for a long time. So originally, I had decided to join because I wanted to meet new people. I had heard curling was very social and. You can't be more Canadian than curling. My parents used to curl back in the 1970s and they would talk to me about what it was like and how to play the game and things like that. So that really piqued my interest uh, into the sport. They met at a curling bond spiel and, and uh, I could tell they have this deep, deep love of the game. Curling is something that's a huge part of my life, but especially this club, I would say, is home. I know the people since I was a baby, and I've grown up with them, and I'm still here, and I don't want to leave. I've definitely spent probably half my life here, <laughs> from growing up here as a kid every weekend, to curling every Sunday, to now curling in like two or three leagues a week, and then traveling every weekend to curl. It's pretty <coughs> special where you can walk into any curling club in Ottawa, and there's like eight or ten and you're going to know someone. So it's such a small community where everyone knows everyone, basically. Everyone supports everyone. And also, like, everyone's friendly. It's all like-minded people who like the sport, they like to socialize. And then you can get everyone from the competitive people to the rec people. And we're all here for the love of the game. So what a great game. I never got the concept of hitting the broom and <laughs> throwing the right. It didn't make sense to me, but yeah, I was sort of curling and I, you know, from that moment on, I just had such a fun time. I said, I love this game. I, I have to get into it. What I think the real curling is, what it's all about, is spieling. You get out spieling. So that means you're going on the road <clears throat> to another club. And you're going to be uh, meeting. Probably most people you're, you're going to see and meet are people you've met for the first time. And like, I go to a, a thing called the Witch Standard in Kingston. I've been on there 15 years with my friends. Same thing goes every year. Well, you know why? Because I love it. And every year we go, we meet old friends, how you doing, another year's gone by. It's just a, it's a sorority, a brotherhood, it's a, it's a friendship. It's, it's part of life. It's, for me, it's Canadian. It's so Canadian. We went there and the media was waiting for us because we were a Canadian team and they interviewed us. Because you're Canadians, you're the best crew has gone. Yeah. That's what being, that's what for me being a Canadian killer is. You're... You are the world's best. Not me personally. <laughs> Canadian curlers are the best girls in the world. And it's just this way curl goes. You meet people so fast, and you make friends so easy. And that's how I started here. And next thing I knew, I had about 300 friends. Within like a month, you can't put a, you can't put a value on curl. At least within the club, I think it's a sense of community and belonging where you know you can you know, walk into the club people know who you are you can chat with them it's not always focused on curling they get to know you on a personal level as well you build a lot of friendships that are outside of work outside of other social activities so it really helps build that connection in that community uh, which i really enjoy and then uh, it's interesting being part of a larger curling community that exists across canada where you all have that connection of a love of a a love of a sport and um, sort of can bring you bring you together. The fact that it's Canadian curling, I it makes me proud. I you know Canadians do really well in the sport of curling, and the fact that you know you have you have that connection and you have sort of that that to look up to. It's 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 encouraging to know that we as Canadians do well in the sport and we have those those players to look up to. For me, it's more about doing the best I can, but maintaining my enjoyment and my love of the sport without it, you know, being too much of a perfectionist taking over that you lose the love of the sport. My family played all the time when we were growing up. We would be here at least once a week watching them play. And then, you know, when we started to play too, then it just added this whole other dimension to it. I mean, I went through times as a kid where I didn't want to play. But then I realized that, you know, this is a big part of who I am. It's a lot of how I was raised was here by the people here. And it played a big part in making who I am today. 
five days a week probably there's someone playing somewhere whether it's here or at a different place uh, in competitions coaching um, there's always something curling related happening and it's amazing how once you get used to that being the normal anything that brings you away from it becomes really difficult it's a club and there's members but these the people that are here it's more than just you know people that you play with people that you play against it hits a point where they become friends and um, it's a family to be quite honest the people here they support each other in a way that in many other places it just it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the same